Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the SQL with statement. Um, and, and in SQL Server, it's called the Common Table Expression, and it's abbreviated CTE. So the SQL with statement um, allows you to do really two different things. Um, one, it allows you to write or refactor subqueries, so you can pull them out of the main query. And the other is you can do recursive queries. Today I just want to talk about the, the subquery piece. I want to kind of give you an introduction to the with statement. So let's start with um, a table I have out there in the SQL training online, simple DB called employee. Okay, so this table has employee number, name, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission, and department number. And in order to really talk about um, the with statement, I, I need to also talk about subqueries and you may or may not know about those but inside of SQL Server you can just say you can actually say select star from and then you can have another select statement and you can just alias that so select star from and then this other select statement that's embedded that's called a subquery so let me run that and you can see I get the same thing out of it and so you can do that multiple times and it's called a subquery but what we want to do is talk about the with statement so the with statement actually allows you to go up to the top of your query and start with the keyword of with and then you give this thing here what we're going to do is we're going to pull this select statement out and make this a little more clean and so we can give this select statement now you can think of it as this here returns a table so we want to name that table that's returning and so I'm just going to say um, our CTE employee table and you can name this whatever you want and then you just say the columns you want and so I'm gonna bring back three columns I'm gonna bring back the employee number employee name and the um, let's say the manager okay so we've got three columns and notice how I separate those by commas and then the next statement you need to put in there is going to be the as statement so you're gonna say with the and then give it a name what columns you're gonna bring back as and now we need to put in our select statement and really what we can do is just simply grab this here and I will toss it in there and so this is the width part and so I also need to come in and define the columns here instead of star I need to put it in there like that and then now instead of having this subquery I can say select star from let me scroll up so we can see this whole thing so we have we called it CTE employee. So I'll copy that and say select star from CTE employee. So we made this our own little table up here called CTE employee. And now we can just simply select from it. Okay, so let's see if this thing runs. And so there you have it. So we just said select star from CTE employee and it pulled back. Let me pull this up here. It pulled back our three columns with that we defined. And so that's really um, the basic introduction to a with statement. There's a lot of things you can do. At this point, we could join this back if, back if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and try that real quick and say enter join. And we can join it back to the employee table itself and get the manager name on, let's say, um, CTE employee. And notice how IntelliSense even brings that up. CTE employee dot employee name. I'm sorry, employee number. No. On the seat, we want the manager here. Manager. And we want that to equal the employee e.employee number. And so now let's run that. And you can see we took our, our table that we created, CT employee, interjoined it back to employee number, and got the manager. And if we really wanted to, make this a little cleaner let me go ahead and grab these three columns here 
So I'll say, and we have to, we can even alias if we want. So let's call this CTE. Go ahead and put some carriage returns in here so we can see what's going on. And then let's bring back the the manager name, which is going to be in the employee table, E dot, and we'll say employee name. And so, and then we'll alias that as manager name. And so let's go ahead and something looks wrong here. <coughs> Since I aliased the table, I cannot use the fully qualified table name. I have to use the alias here. So let's toss that in there. And now let's execute it. And so now you can see we have the manager name. So that's really the introduction there. Um, as always, if you find this helpful, uh, please leave a comment below. Click the like button or subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video.